Hi, it's Anthony with Land Title. I wanted to bring you our update for the city of Denver for the month of September. And we are going to get into just some of what's happening in the slowdown in the market in the fall. So, you know, in September, we really had the average sales price hit about 7% increase from last year. Finally, some healthy numbers in the marketplace. $800,000 average, which is a really good sign, right? The median's doing the same thing, about an 8% increase. In the condo townhouse market, somewhere similar, right? This is a really good sign that the market is starting to react to all this fiscal and monetary policy and interest rates aren't just rising for nothing, right? So this is exactly what we needed in order to slow down the inflation rate. So this is a really good sign out there. Now, when we look at the average price per square foot, it is very expensive in the city of Denver, $367 or $69, basically $370 a square foot in Denver, 412 in the condo market. This is a pricey market to live in, but it's very desirable, lots of jobs, right? Lots to do, it's very cool stuff. So that being said, much higher prices than most of the surrounding areas. <clears throat> now, when we look at what's going on, this is buyers and sellers, how they're reacting in the marketplace. This is the supply of inventory. We are barely above active units for last year. Most of the surrounding markets are not having this issue, but the city of Denver has not had the rising inventory like a lot of other markets. Are new listings still coming to market? Yes, they're slowed down by about 16% just the last couple months. But that being said, buyer demand still stays strong, even though we have had not as much, in, or we've had plenty of inventory coming to market. We've had rising interest rates, but we still are not stacking up inventory like a lot of other places. So 1,800 homes on the market in the city of Denver is remarkably low compared to what we expect elsewhere. Now we should be trending towards 18 and 19 levels, that purple line above it. So expect next year to get another set of rising inventory in the market. Now, here's the other thing. Pendings are slowing down some. So what does that mean? People are probably pulling some stuff off the market if it's not selling, but pendings are tracking with the last couple of years. This is why inventory is starting to stack up, but we just don't have enough inventory to even get close to balance yet. So expect that we're gonna see that those same rates over the next few years, but 30% underneath last year is quite a bit. Expect us to stay kind of at this level over the next few months into the fall, right? Tracking with 2018, 2019. That's what we should expect. The month supply of inventory is only one and a half. We should easily be at two plus right now, like most of the other markets around it. But in the city of Denver, there's just extra interest and more people. And as the buyers pull back a little bit, so did those people listing homes. That being said, you see this in markets like Boulder as well. Now, when you look at the city of Denver, as far as how does this feel as a purchaser, right? Those average days in the MLS are at 24 days, so that's active to under contract, 60% more than before, but 60%, let's be real, is one week. So a couple of weeks, three weeks on the market right now, we're trending in a higher direction. It's gonna get worse towards the end of the year. We're gonna see, you know, 30 or 40 days in MLS by the end of the year because it's a fall. It's starting to feel like a traditional fall market. The percentage list to sale price is at 99%, really trending towards 2018, 2019 levels, back to a new normal away from the crazy chaos during the COVID years. So that being said, we're getting back to our new normal. If you have any questions on the market, I'm Anthony with Land Title. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos.